Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I haven't done one of these in so long and I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing a foundation wear test. I haven't done one of these, I think since like the beginning of the year. I made a little trip to Sephora the other day and I picked up the new House Labs uh, Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I picked up two shades. I picked up the shade that I thought I was just based off of the Sephora website like, uh, like shade descriptions and then I picked up one by doing the like shade matching thing that they have on their website this is the shade that they said I was going to be which is 110 light neutral the shade that I picked up based off of like the description that sounds like the foundations I usually pick up I got 175 light neutral so those are pretty <laughs> um far off on like the shade range so hopefully one of these matches me um but I'm really excited. I haven't seen any reviews yet. Um, I've been, I wanted to go in with like an open mind, like not have any opinions um, just from seeing any of them. But um, the only thing I did see, I don't know if I saw it on like their TikTok or their Instagram, but the only thing I saw basically was they recommend to do this, to use this with a brush or your fingertips. On the website, it says you could use a damp sponge, but I swear I thought I saw someone say that they don't recommend using it with a sponge. So I'm not going to use a sponge today. I'm gonna use a brush, um, but yeah, if you guys are new here, I love doing foundation wear tests. I haven't done one of these in a while because I basically use the same foundation every single time I do a full face of makeup. They color pop pretty fresh. I have gone through so many bottles of these. Um, I'm the shade light 50 in the color pop pretty fresh, so um, this is like a medium coverage with like a natural finish so that's kind of like the foundation I like to wear so this is a medium coverage foundation this is a it says it's infused with 20 plus skincare ingredients buildable medium coverage luminous second skin finish ultra fluid weightless formula um, it's clean cutting edge long wear um, it's non-comedogenic dermatologist tested fragrance free and cruelty free and vegan just like everything from house labs so um yeah like i said i did pick these up with my own money i did not get these sent in pr i don't think i'm on house labs pr list anymore i used to be like a long time ago i'm not anymore so i did buy these with my own money they were 45 dollars each kind of pricey honestly picking up two of them just to kind of base like i didn't know what shade was going to be it was a hundred dollars so that was a little pricey um but we're just gonna go ahead and try it out. As always, I will include, like, I will be doing, like, check-ins through the day. I do have an event to go to later. It's a little bit later in the day already, too. It's 2.24. My camera is literally dying as I'm filming this, and I was gonna film earlier, but my camera was dead. So, um, hopefully I can get through this video. I am gonna be doing, like, check-ins. I'll put close-ups with my phone, because my phone does film in 4K, so I'll put some close-ups so you guys can see. Um, I do have a normal to dry skin type. I'll also put some shade references down below in other foundations, just in case you guys are a similar skin tone as I am. Um, but we're gonna see which foundation looks better like i said i have the shades 110 and 175 but pa packaging is really nice it's in like this really nice um cardboard packaging and the actual bottle oh this is this is really nice like this actually feels like it's worth 45 dollars i'm gonna see if it's worth 45 because i think the color pop is 16 and i'm a cheapskate and i go through so many bottles of this that like it's gonna be kind of hard for me to like transition to another foundation especially but uh being like $45 but if it is worth it then like I'll say it's worth it but this has a lot of weight to it it's really nice it feels very high end <laughs> like really really nice um it does have a pump which I do like honestly I think 110 might match me I think the 175 is a little dark but I don't know let's see what this one looks like it does say to shake well there are instructions it says shake well blend onto clean moisturized skin um I'm gonna be using the ColourPop pretty fresh primer this is the primer that I use all the time, um, and I use this with all my foundations, so I'm trying to hurry up because I can see my camera battery going down and down by the second. Just now that I have some primer on, I just have my brows done right now, but let's go ahead and go into the foundation. Like I said, this is really nice. It's nice and weighted. It feels really heavy. Honestly, I could probably knock somebody out with this. I love the packaging. It looks very, very high end. Um, I like the cap and I like that it has a pump. So I'm going to do one pump and I'm going to apply it just directly to the skin and see how that looks. I'm using a Sigma, um, F80 brush for this. Oh, 
Oh, it's actually a really good match. Okay, I'm probably gonna return 175. I think it's gonna be way too dark because this looks like a pretty good match. Oh, I like it with a brush too much, honestly. I wanna try it with my fingers because it does say you could use your fingers to blend this out too. Let's try it on this side. I would never normally apply my foundation with fingers. Honestly, I feel like maybe if I apply it with my fingers and then blend it out with a brush, that might be better. But it's going on really nicely. It feels very, very nice. Um, you know what? Honestly, it doesn't look too bad applying it with the fingers. I feel like maybe applying it with the fingers and then blending it out with a brush might be the move. Let's see. I think that's the move. Also, this is a really good match. So the shade matcher on their website is actually pretty accurate. Um, so I would say don't go based off of the Sephora descriptions. I went off of that kind of based off of the other foundations I usually wear, and I don't think it was accurate. Their shade matcher on this lab's website, this is the shade that they gave me that they said I would be, and it's pretty spot on. I feel like my skin looks so nice. I'm so happy so far. I went ahead, I haven't applied it to like my forehead yet. That was one pump, so I'll definitely, they're smaller pumps for sure. It doesn't distribute a bunch of product, which is nice because I would rather have less product and then kind of use more if I need to than having too much and then wasting product like that. So I did another pump. I'm just gonna apply that to like my forehead, my nose. Um, but honestly, it looks so good so far. Like it literally looks like my skin. And like I said, I think blending it in with my fingers and then going over it with a brush is my favorite way to apply it. Uh, maybe my nose, I'm not. I think I might apply too much to my nose. <laughs> um, I can just tell from this formula, I can understand why. I saw somewhere it said not to use a sponge. I don't know why, but I can kind of tell just this formula. I feel like the sponge might pick up too much product because um, it is a little bit more of a thinner consistency. Not super watery, but it is a little bit more of a thinner consistency where I can see that maybe the sponge might pick up too much product. Let me Let me just see if it does anything. I have my damp sponge right here. This is just from the Makeup Shack. I mean, honestly, I can't really tell. I don't really feel like it's doing anything too much using a sponge, but I think initially, I think applying it with the fingers and either going over it with a brush or a sponge, it really looks like my skin, but better. Um, I'll include a little close up with my phone right here of just how it looks on its own. I haven't put concealer on or anything yet. Uh, I am gonna do that right now after this. And that's what it looks like with the rest of my makeup done and stuff. Um, but so far, I mean, I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm so happy with this. I'm do the rest of my makeup really quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with everything on. I actually wanted to check in really quick before I did the rest of my makeup. Um, I just applied some concealer. I'll add a little clip right here to show you guys what it's looking like with the concealer. I haven't set it my under eyes or anything yet. I just have the concealer and the foundation. Concealer went on top of the foundation really nicely. I didn't have any issues blending it out or anything. It's sitting on top of it really good. My skin looks so pretty. Like it looks so natural and glowy. Um, apparently this is the foundation that Gaga has been wearing like on tour and stuff so I'm not surprised that it looks like um nice and natural and glowy but still giving coverage I think it looks so pretty it doesn't feel like anything is on my skin literally at all okay so I just went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup I still need to do lips but this is what it's looking like so far I'll put a little clip right here to show you guys what it looks like with the rest of my makeup done it honestly looks really pretty it looks great um Right now it's 3.15. I think when I initially finished applying the foundation, it was like 2.45. So um, it's 3.15 right now. And so far it's looking really good. The only thing I've noticed is it's kind of very, 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 very minimally um, settling in like my smile lines right here. But that's about it. I'm not noticing it anywhere else. I think it still looks really fine. Um, and it looks great honestly it looks really really pretty um it doesn't feel like anything is on my skin really it's very lightweight um it definitely was buildable and i forgot to mention this earlier but this is one fluid ounce um typical foundation amount i'm gonna try this little atomic shake lip lacquer because these have been literally all over tiktok and instagram so i want to try it the i wanted to try these a while ago but i didn't really care for any of the shades that they initially had but they just launched two more colors so i got the shade rosewood shine so basically, you just have to like shake these. I don't say how long to shake them for, but I'm just shaking it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so this is the shade Rosewood Shine. I'm just going to apply 
this and the, oh interesting the doe foot's like purple um these are supposed to last all day long but still have that shiny look so i don't think you're supposed to like press your lips together this color is really pretty it doesn't really match my eyeshadow though <laughs> So far, I feel- oh, you're not supposed to like put your lips together, okay. Oh, I really like this color though. Um, so far it feels really sticky. Um, okay, so that's what it looks like. I really like this color a lot actually. It's like a really pretty like taupey, purpley brown. Um, but I'm not pressing my lips together and just kind of let it dry. Um, and like I said, this doesn't dry down. It's supposed to stay, like, shiny. Um, but so far, I don't think I really like how it feels on the lips. I can already tell. Um, it feels thick. I did shake it for, like, a while, so, um, I don't know, like, how much I was supposed to shake it anymore, but it's not supposed to feel like this. I don't know. But, I like the color. You're only supposed to take, shake it for five seconds, even layer to each lip. Keep lips lips separated and allow product to dry for 15 seconds. Okay. So I did that. Let's see what it's looking like. Okay. No transfer. Okay, it doesn't feel as sticky anymore. I think it's definitely dried down now. Pretty good. Just a little bit of some flakiness has come up, but not really anything like super crazy. Let's try drinking some coffee. nothing on the cup okay yeah i like this color again it doesn't really go with my eyeshadow today but it's okay um it looks really pretty it doesn't feel as sticky anymore okay thank god i was like i don't like how this feels it was kind of giving the what what lip product was that like the was it revlon they had like the like lip lacquer things from like a long time ago i hated those but now it feels good it doesn't feel like it's gonna it still has that like shiny look to it which i really like so far, so good. Um, but yeah, so this is what the makeup is looking like. The foundation is great. Um, so far, initial thoughts. Please ignore my hair. We're going to do it in a little while. Um, but yeah, so far, initial thoughts on the foundation. I think it looks really, really pretty. I think it sits on the skin really nicely. Once I set my under eyes with powder, um, it definitely looks a little bit more matte than before. Um, but I always set my under eyes with powder, so I'm not, like, that's not anything out of the ordinary. Um... I think the most comparable foundation, I would say, it kind of reminds me of the ColourPop one, but a little bit light, more lightweight. Um, initially, like applying it, like the formula is a little bit more thinner than that one, but it's kind of giving like the same coverage and the same like finish initially. Um, but I really like it. Like I said, this is the Pretty Fresh foundation. It's like my holy grail foundation. I have gone through many bottles of these and I don't ever use another foundation anymore. Before I would like kind of switch here and there, but now since my life has been so crazy, I don't really switch up my makeup routine like at all anymore. So it's been strictly this foundation. Um, and so far, I really like how it's looking. I can usually tell if I don't like a foundation right away um, because if there's something a little bit different, since I'm so used to using the ColourPop one all the time, I can spot little things that I don't like very easily. Like I can always tell if I don't like a foundation right away. Something looks off about my face. And so far, I'm not getting that feeling. So I think it looks really pretty. We're going to see how it wears through the day. It is pretty hot today still in LA it's 80 degrees I am gonna go to an event around 6 um, so hopefully I don't want to touch up this foundation but around like 6 o'clock when I'm gonna leave if I need to like touch it up I will but I'm gonna try not to um, but so far I think it looks really good I think I really like how it's sitting on the skin and so far I mean like if I like it I think this would definitely be a foundation that I would repurchase because it's a really good match there are 51 shades I forgot to mention that earlier there are 51 shades um, and I think there's a really good range of shades as well. Yeah, so far so good. Like I said, right now it's 323. I don't know if you guys can even see with the new update. It's 323. <laughs> um, so I've had this on for like almost an hour, like 45 minutes at this point. And yeah, so far I'm really liking it. So I'll check in with you guys once I get ready for the event. And I'll show you guys what it's looking like. If I need to touch up, I'll do that on camera. But so far so good. So I'll see you guys in a little while. Let's take a little clip with my phone in 4K. I'll put that clip right here. I'm a little shook. It looks so good on camera. 
okay my thoughts my thoughts are brewing in my head but so far she's a 10 out of 10 so far the that i'm putting right here i'm a little shook it looks fantastic like so flawless i couldn't really tell like i'm looking in the mirror i'm like yeah it looks great it looks great but then like on camera i'm like holy shit it looks so good um i just had to like throw that in here really quick because i just like took that video i sent it to my roommates and they were like holy shit it looks really good i'm shocked um i mean i'm not shocked but i'm like very very impressed so far hi guys okay i'm using my bathroom lighting right now and oh my god this lighting is impeccable um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how it's looking right now. It's 620. I'm about to leave for the event. Um, but foundation is holding up really well. Like it looks so good. Um, I'm a little sweaty because it's hot and I was doing my hair, but it looks so good. Um, I haven't touched up the foundation. I only touched up my concealer right now. Like I just put some brightening powder <laughs> underneath because I was looking a little not as bright as I wanted it to be for the event, but I haven't touched the foundation or anything else all day so i've had this on now for about what, like three and a half hours like almost four maybe i don't know i can't i can't do math <laughs> um but this is what it's looking like and i'm obsessed it looks so pretty on also i changed my lip i do not like that lip color um the atomic shake it started flaking off and like getting on my teeth and like stuck to my teeth within like 10 minutes after I was wearing it. So I took it off. Um, I don't like it. I think I'm gonna return it. I just don't like the way it feels. I can't see myself wearing it. Um, it just peeled off really weird, super weird. I don't like it. Um, but I went ahead and changed my lip. I always get questions about what lip this is when I wear it. It's Ziggy by ColourPop. It's one of the lippy sticks, <sighs> but I'm out of breath and I'm running late, but I just wanna do a little check-in. It looks so good. Also, I'm just like obsessed with this lighting right now. It looks so good. I'm shooting in 4K on my phone right now, so. I love it. Um, here's a little up close. You guys can see. So pretty. But okay. I'll see you guys at the end of the night. Toodles. I'm leaving the event right now. I'm here with Ash. How does the foundation look? Fucking bomb. It looks so good. It looks like you just put it on. I'm honestly kind of shocked. Oh my god! <laughs> look at it right here. It's literally. Wow. What time did you apply it? Two. I'm shocked. It looks so good. Okay, so I am finally home. I got home like about an hour ago. It is 10.22. I don't know if you guys can see the time. It's 10.22. I am exhausted. Um, the event was really fun. But let's go ahead and give my final thoughts on this angel right here. This foundation is impeccable. This like beat my expectations so much. Like... I was not expecting to like this foundation as much as I did. Like, I thought, I was like, okay, Giggo, like, really good or really bad. Like, I'll probably like it, but I don't know if it's going to, like, beat my ColourPop foundation. No, this is, like, insane. Like, I, just taking pictures and, like, videos of my skin earlier, I was, like, literally shook. I cannot believe how good my skin looked. I haven't been this impressed with the foundation in a really long time. Um... I am such a cheap bitch now that like, like I said earlier, this $16 foundation, I think it's $16, this foundation, it's going to be like really hard to beat like considering how much I like it. Like I love everything about this foundation and then it just being that cheap, it's going to be like really hard to beat. I know this is $45. I feel like that's kind of like typical pricing for like Sephora, like foundations at Sephora and stuff. So it's not too like expensive, but it's still higher in price. Like more expensive having to like restock this than like something like this, you know? Um, but I absolutely love it. I think it's worth every penny and I will definitely re be repurchasing this foundation. It looks so nice. Like I literally couldn't stop staring at my skin. It's, it's, fa it's fantastic. 10 out of 10 smash the everything about it the formula i really like how it applied to like i don't know just something about using my fingers and then just kind of like buffing it out with a brush afterwards just like it's a very easy application i love it i just love the finish of it it lasted all day i've had this on now for what almost eight hours i think i don't know i finished applying it at like 245 it's 10 30 that's a long time okay um i went to an event it was hot it was like it was 72 three percent humidity earlier when i went to the event so being outside with the humidity and it still looked literally fantastic um the bottle is really nice it feels very luxurious it's nice and heavy um it's beautiful i love it i have nothing but good things to say about it it's so 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 good gaga snapped with this foundation 
like there's no words this might be one of like the best foundations i've tried in a really really long time i just i like i can't stop staring at how good my like i can't stop staring at my skin in the mirror i did a little video right now i am getting like a little shiny right here but again it was humid as hell outside like i felt it when i was at the event i was like holy shit it's humid like it, i feel it it's gross so i'm not surprised i'm a little shiny um but it's not anything like i don't need to touch it up i feel like i look fine still um yeah go get this it's fantastic <laughs> like i cannot say enough good things about this um and i can justify the price for the packaging it being like really good um nice and heavy has some nice weight to it i didn't need too much of the foundation either so that's also really good i feel like i won't go through it too fast i am definitely gonna still be using my like ColourPop foundation if i'm just doing everyday things but like if i'm going to an event or something honestly i'm going to be using this i feel like it looks really nice um the way that it's wearing on my skin kind of reminds me of lancome taunty duel um that also it kind of reminds me of how it's wearing through the day i definitely think like with uh through the day it looked a lot better than it when it was initially applied i just like i can't get over it my blush is still showing through like it is so so good i mean i'm not surprised like i don't know what i expected like obviously gaga's not gonna put out a bad foundation i love gaga so much i know she'll never see this but if she does i love you um and you snapped with this foundation 51 shades the shade range is really really good um it's just i can't get over it i'm so excited i kept getting compliments on my skin at the event um i have a little clip from when i was like leaving the event even my friend was ashley she was like it looks so good i am so so happy with it at first i was like okay hopefully it's good because it's a little bit more on the higher price and i was like hopefully i won't need to like return it and like hopefully it works no I will not be returning. I'm going to return the one that wasn't my right shade, but I will not be returning this. This is so good. Please go run to Sephora and pick it up. I already know that this foundation is probably going to go viral, so I'm calling it right now. Pick it up because it is so, so good. I'm excited to like do my makeup again and like wear this because like my skin just looks so good. I look so radiant and like my skin looks so healthy. Um, shade match was really, really good. Um, and yeah, I love it. This this I'm going to be returning. I did not like this. <laughs> um, I just didn't wear well immediately. Like I had it on for like 10 minutes and I was like, no, this is not it. So this was not it for me. I've seen a lot of people love it. I personally, it's just not for me. Um, I don't really mind reapplying my lipstick through the day. So this is just like not for me, but this, this is for me. This is like almost my perfect foundation that I could ever ask for. Medium coverage, natural finish, looks great through the day, holds up with some humidity. Smash. 10 out of 10. 10s across the board. Gaga ate that shit up because my skin, no, she's flawless right now. I look like I posted a video on my story earlier, no filter, nothing at all. My skin looked immaculate. Like, I feel like this is the best my skin has ever looked with a foundation. Like, truly, I can't get over how good and how much I actually really, really love this foundation. And honestly, I know this is like my holy grail. But this might just be my holy grail, like, affordable foundation. This might be my new favorite higher-end foundation. She's chef's kiss. She's amazing. She's everything I could ever ask for. Anyways, um, I hope this video was helpful for you. Like I said earlier, if you guys are a similar skin tone as I am, I'll put my shade references down below for you guys. Link the foundation down below for you guys as well. Leave me a comment down below if you guys have tried this out yet and I want to hear you guys' thoughts on it. But yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.